What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we have initiated Operation Sea Lion and we are attacking the British mainland. But first what we need to do is fight off this defensive battle against the British. They have attacked us near Dublin. Unfortunately they are drawing in the Dublin garrison. So let us destroy them. This will make it a bit easier in our, on our next turn. Once we destroy the garrison, we can then lay siege and attack the city with impunity. So you've got to bear in mind, they are coming in from a slightly different direction than straight ahead. Uh, common sense says it should be to the right of us somewhere. But we all know what empires like. So there are times where they deploy sensibly. There are times where they do not. So let's deploy a gun team straight ahead of us. Let's deploy infantry unit and a janissary musketeer unit straight ahead. The battlefield isn't isn't great. Actually, I might. Okay. I might deploy slightly to the left so I can push up to about here. That would be a good decision, I think. It gives me the ability to uh, trundle out a bit more of my firepower. So, field artillery, let's drop you. Drop one unit up on this raised embankment, because that's quite a good position. Keep the howitzer mobile. So we're left with these units to deploy somewhere. Now you've also got so you're gonna march up. Okay, let's put this this unit up on the right, ready to move. Melee infantry up on the right as well. I might dump one of them here. Just act as a bit of a blocker in case they come through the town to try to go for my infantry. Sipahi on the in the open ground, my Royal Mamluk guards. Uh, they deploy here, so that way they, they can go either this side of this terrain feature or this side. Oh, I'm actually coming in nearest damn it behind them. Very well. In which case then uh, let's put you guys there put these lights in the house they do have a lot of cavalry so I need to be ready for the immediate charge the howitzer there is good to unlimber run some more support up onto the right flank. Third unit of Nizam will be more than enough for over here. A few men attack. Well, these howitzers attack the Colstrian guards, quite at point blank. already in action artillery instead focus on the lifeguards that's who I want you to hit you men and limber and you can use shrapnel sharp they're cold stream Ooh, the cavalry gonna charge All right I hear that Attack the horse light guards. You guys go for the okay, canister shot. Canister shot the general's bodyguard. He's coming in right at us. Turn back. 
Ah, they made it. You guys all dump into square. I don't mind them going after the artillery, because, well, really, we've got plenty of it. They've got plenty of it, and they're going to lose their grenadiers for the. They're going to use their lose their general for the privilege. That quick climb is not great. I mean, they're going to lose their cavalry. My artillery is still up and firing. We go kill the general, wherever he is. You guys get back in the square. You never learn. You guys hopefully give another volley into the enemy cavalry. Although, are you now bugged? Yeah, even though I've still got my artillery, it's still... Not enough. Oh, get you guys out of there. Where's my Mameluke guards? Yeah, the lifeguards are doing okay. We got some pretty dope troops coming into the fight here. So my artillery to the rear is going to aim at good. They're aiming at the correct unit. Got more cavalry going out to the flank. There we go. The life horse have been routed. So you guys take position to engage the men on the left. going to be enticed in by my skirmishers. But my skirmishers run. I've really not used my sapahi very well. Come on Janice, you're going to do is stay in formation. My men that aren't engaged against the cavalry push up to engage their supporting infantry. My Sapahi, get up, get your march on. There we go. Lure them in with my light infantry. And as long as you've got some good infantry nearby to form square, they can act as a bit of a happy home. So my artillery to the rear. You men up here engage the ninth foot guards. My artillery back here. You can engage nearby targets. Guerrilla mercenaries are attempting to charge down my Spahi, my Mameluke guard. Let's get them on. The put, get them moving up. There's a black watch back here.
the 33rd Regiment. Okay, let's push this unit up. There we go, the right flank is beginning to fold. Get my cavalry out of there. Get them to dash back to hit the guerrilla mercenaries. Let's pick a new, well they're gonna get shot to bits first. See if I can get them to hit that unit of guerrilla mercenaries. So let's push up my damage line. The regulars have been destroyed. All my artillery back here begin to shoot at the enemy elite infantry. Push my Mamluk guards up and around. Good hit against those Colstrom guards with that quick line. Yep, they got obliterated. You chase down the 33rd. And you chase down these guerrillas, or at least attempt to. Actually, I might just pivot you immediately over here instead to go after some of these actual infantry units. Forty ninth are gonna get mowed down, absolutely. Yeah, you hit the fifty second. You guys do as much damage as you can to the thirty third. Then try hit the 35th. Good quick line here. Try and get a couple of kills on that unit. You're going to get one. Oh, great quick line hits. You guys go after the Colstrom Guards. One guy. You got him. Don't worry so much about their artillery, because I'm just going to shoot at them with my, my own artillery. Black Watch, Irish Volunteers, the 49th. Hit the black watch. Stop firing, turn off my howitzers. Because the black watch are a foot guard unit, you definitely want to take them out. Okay, turn off. Turn those guys back on to go hit the black watch. Ooh, try kill that artillery unit. That's a actual gun team. Fully fledged team. They'll die in one big hit, theoretically. You guys charge the guerrilla mercenary. Let's bring my Sapai up here. 
to come and hit the tenth foot guards. Ah, oh, let's end it there. Just in case this guy causes some problems, because he seemingly couldn't be killed. We'll have done enough damage anyway. Yeah, they've got 286 men remaining. Yeah, desperately trying to fill up the Dublin garrison now. Mm hmm. I won't worry, Spain. You're about to be put under siege. Savoy is about to, is definitely going to feel a bit unhappy. Mughal Empire aren't going to like my expansion in the Caribbean, but then again, I don't care. They're definitely not going to like my expansion in the Americas and in India at the same time. <laughs> so, 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 so. Workers are on strike in Portugal, not anymore. You men are not quite in range to hit Madrid. You guys demand the surrender of Madrid, of Gibraltar. Fine, just garrison it for now. Okay, let's build some industry in Paris. Get all these agents. But you wait there. You, you, to be honest, get down to Marseille as well and travel to India. There we go. So London is placated. Let's build a madrasa. Let's build a steam powered factory. Let's build a craft workshop. Let's just bring the light of reason and industry from the Far East over to Great Britain. Take Manad Mutar, put Edinburgh under siege. That's a lot of our cavalry. Let's see if I can demand Dublin surrender. Fine. Let's take this army under Damat Ali. Let's sail them uh, to go hit Reykjavik. It looks like they don't get an army, a garrison, which is pretty dope. Oh, the garrison's down by... Ah, okay, they do have one. Put the city under siege and force them to bring Damien Newport out to attack us. Kevin McDowell might be a problem. Letter of demands from England. Nah, they've settled down. Good, you guys. Settle their nerves. Yeah, this army is like it will not be needed, so let's get you aboard ship over to America. You guys building roads? You are. Okay, well, I think I'm going to take this army and destroy the rest of the Dublin garrison. There is an army that's scattered out to the west but I don't think it's going to be it's going to cause us that many problems because it's the, it's the leftover garrison of the army that we've just destroyed so I doubt they have a lot of strength to repel us my guns are going to deploy back onto the high ground this is going to be a good old charge Their troops are low, are low number and low strength and low quality. Well, they're not low quality. That's a bit mean. And my light infantry is not going to be as useful for this one. run up all my cavalry because right now they've got 
Cool. My howitzers have opened up on not the best target. My field artillery not is is okay. Some light infantry. Yeah, my field artillery can engage the. Uh, well, actually, they probably don't need to engage the the mortars because these guys are going to take out the militia, which leaves these guys able to do something like this because you guys can more than adequately deal with that militia unit and here comes my infantry you guys push up over the ridge quick climb start hitting in the center same with my artillery, just start bombarding all these guys. Light infantry have deployed stakes, which is a bit of a bummer. They've seen the militia off. So they're going to push up and chase them down. Yeah, there go the garrison mortars. You charge the seventh foot guards, you charge in the light infantry. Run the janissaries in. My cavalry's waiting for an opportune moment to hit the the routing troops. 17th is under fire from close range. Okay, then go hit this unit of garrison line. That should be great, quick climb here, and it, and it is. Yeah, I knew you guys would come back. You guys are doing a real number on the Janissaries, on the, uh, the Regiment of Foot, but this unit of Janissaries is going to really tip the balance. They claim they are steady. Test showed that was a lie. Yeah, now they're wavering. They see what's coming. Keep at them. So all that's left is this unit of militia fighting off my janissaries. So let's speed up time. These guys likely will not be around for long. Although they might be around for long enough for an enemy unit to, yeah, like that, come back. Charge the 17th. See, this is the main thing about units like this. The stragglers, they allow them to come back. Allow enemy units to continue their dastardly work. Although, pick your targets wisely. Nizam on the left. On the right, you've got Janissaries coming in. Into the breach, Into the breach. I think not. The breach is coming to you. So see how this guy does. Very well. He gets another. Does he get a third? There's still this guy. He does. Yeah. There we go. I think that's them all gone. Good stuff. 
Hurrah! Damn right, it's a heroic victory. So that's Dublin secured. Let's replenish my men. Let's knock down... How much do they like us? Plus 11. So if we knock this down, it'll be plus 6. We need to start converting Dublin. So you men retrain or replenish. Soon we'll go after and kill those guys. We've got Edinburgh under siege. I might give them a turn of a turn of attrition because they've got some elite troops. And then let's pick up some of these economic upgrades because that's quite a lot. Okay, can you guys leave Cologne yet? Minus two. They won't like it. But let's get some Semini to look after them. Bring you guys down here. We'll sh ship you back. Actually, we'll ship you also across to the Americas. Okay. Agreed you, agreed you. We're tracked in the Netherlands, you've upgraded that. Cobbled roads. Yashidana, can you leave Amsterdam? Minus three, no. You can soon. Commercial port in Algiers. Commercial base in Cuxhaven, let's get... A sloop to occupy the port there. Uh, where were we? Here we are. Iron Workshop becomes an Iron Master's Forge. Great state's already being upgraded. As is the Madras in Portugal. Craft Workshop in Leon is being upgraded. Commercial basin in Italy. And then two lumber mills in Norway. Portugal. Well, it says they're on strike. They're not anymore. So I've got my priest over here in Cairo to try and turn the last or, or, last members of the Orthodox religion uh, to Islam. Then I'm going to send them over to Jerusalem. Letter of demands from England. Nah, they're okay. They're chill. I think I might take because these guys won't demand our surrender and i've got a little bit of time left before we end the episode let's go and hit gibraltar hit gibraltar end turn and then next episodes we can work on assaulting edinburgh and assaulting madrid Or probably fighting near Iceland as well. That's likely something we will end up having to do. Come on, keyboard. Why is my... There we go. My WASD wasn't working for some reason. So they don't have a particularly good army. So deploy a solid core of infantry. Let's get our... Janissaries and Grenadiers on the flanks. Turn you very well off. Spread our line out along the front. Cavalry to either side. General in the center. Poor, poor Spain. Dercio Pikeman, Provincial Militia. There's a lot of quick climb coming in. Let's take my. Hello. The Provincial Cavalry fancies a charge, so let's pivot. Well, let's bring my other units of line up. Including my Mamelu guards. Let my infantry here get some shots off at the provincial cavalry. Counter charge them with my Mamelukes. 
then you guys can push up. There we go. Yeah, your provincial cavalry will not do very well against my Mamelukes. My Mamelukes have only lost three men, and you've lost a whole bunch. Quick line working on the Tercio pikemen. All my artillery work on the provincial cav to the rear. Keep attacking them to try shatter them. Shattered, good. There's all the artillery comes in. Here comes the pikemen. They look pretty cool actually with their hats. Hats and armour. Losing a lot of men. Come on you guys, you can open up on them as well. Provincial cavalry is hit. Oh, they've broken all on these pikemen. Right, maybe I ought to pick another target that's not them to be quicklined. There we go, they've broken as well. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Gibraltar is ours. There's not a lot they can do about it. So let's replenish the army. You're all within range to hit Madrid. There are lots of elite troops in there, actually. And you guys probably can't leave Paris yet. Hey, you can! Religious unrest is going down because they're becoming more and more Islamic. So let's march you guys over to Brest as well. And then in Paris itself, so you can't actually recruit... Oh, it might be a high, I might have to upgrade this building. Maybe? No, I can't recruit Nizam here at all. Huh. Well, we've got Savoy boxed in for when we fancy, like, fancy uh, attacking the Mughal Empire, which isn't yet. Let's give them a turn to be attrited. They're likely to try and attack us near Reykjavik anyway. So let's hit end turn. more troops over on the Indian front. I do really need to build up my strength in the Gulf because I want to uh, pretty much put a stranglehold. Ha, they're actually going to sally out of Edinburgh. Sweet. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for this fight in this fight in the last their territory of the British Isles. Cheers, everyone.